Well, hello guys and welcome back finally to part two of my rehaul. Now, if you guys remember a couple of weeks ago I uploaded um, my rehaul part one, kind of just made the name up, um, which was basically going through some items that I just got mended that are kind of staples in my wardrobe and also some secondhand pieces that I picked up for River now that she's kind of going up a size. So this is going to be part two, which I promised at the time, and I'm sorry it's taken such a long time um, to put up. I've filmed like half of it, and I filmed the intro, and then River's woken up. It's just been one of those videos that has been on my to-do list like at least three times a week for the past three weeks, and I just haven't gotten around to doing it, or doing it the way I wanted to do it. So basically, I'm starting halfway through, which is probably a good thing, because I've done the boring side of my wardrobe. Um, so what I'm going to do is to have a wardrobe clear out, as I have mentioned to you in the previous video, I've been making a conscious effort the whole of this year, basically, not to shop as much and to be more aware of kind of whether I need things, whether I love things that I'm buying, and also where my clothes are coming from. So um, I've been, been buying a lot less fast fashion and kind of buying more investment pieces and things like that. So um, that's been this year. And then this month, actually, is Secondhand September, which was started by Oxfam, but basically just is a great thing to do if you are kind of thinking along the same lines as me and wanting to um, be into fashion and be into your clothes but have less of an impact on the environment. Um, shopping secondhand is a great way to do that because you can still, you know, find and love new things but they're not new, it's giving them a second life. So um, yeah, I'm taking part in secondhand in September, I'm not buying anything new for the whole month. I actually haven't bought anything. I've bought a couple of things on eBay last week for, for River, but I haven't bought anything for me. So um, I will hopefully be maybe going a little bit vintage hunting next week. I'm in Paris, I actually go tomorrow, um, in Paris for a couple of days. So I'm hoping that I might be able to do a bit of a vintage. I, may, I might vlog it, I might vlog it. Anyway, so what am I doing in here? I'm in my dressing room at the moment, I'm sat on the floor. If you guys haven't seen my dressing room before, um, we're super lucky. It's actually really lovely and big and I love this room so much. We recently um, redecorated it. As you can see, we've got this beautiful kind of uh, colour on the wall behind us, which is um, dark pearl colour from Little Green, in case you're wondering. I absolutely adore this colour. It's gorgeous. We have it on the ceiling as well. And then we have these huge um antique wardrobes which you'll probably be able to see mike's side better because all the doors are closed these need reconditioning we haven't gotten around to doing that yet but these were in the house when we moved in so mike has that side i have this side with the doors open um, and my aim is to fit all of my wardrobe including my shoes and handbags in here which seems like a reasonable aim right because this is massive um who am i but yeah so Basically at the moment all of my clothes are in here except coats which are in a cupboard weirdly in our bathroom But it's like a fitted wardrobe in our bathroom. It's very strange, but they work in there I think my coats will probably stay in there to be fair because it's kind of it's convenient for them to be in there, but my um, Shoes and bags are currently in what's supposed to be the laundry cupboard <laughs> Which we don't have that many sheets, so I just put the sheets in like a little cupboard somewhere else because um, we have a really big laundry cupboard and it's so my handbags and shoes live in there and the ideal situation would be to have them in here so what I've done so far as you can see I've gone through this is stuff that is either being given to my sister or it's going to go up on Depop and if you're not following my Depop already head over there and um, follow me if you don't know what Depop is it's kind of like Instagram and eBay mixed together um, not sponsored by Depop I have worked with them in the past but not for a long time um, but I'm going to be listing some of my unloved items on there. Encourage you guys to buy some secondhand bits and bobs. Um, there's some really good stuff going up as well. It's just a, there's a lot of workout gear as well that um, I think I'm going to give some of this to my friend because I know she'll love it. But some of that might go up. Is secondhand workout gear weird? Anyway, so I've organised um, this section already. So this drawer is now empty at the bottom. This is empty except for my running gloves. And then this now has my jumpers, my t-shirts, my jeans, um, shorts and skirts and workout gear and then like hoodies and sports bras and everything. I wanna move these all up if I can because the stuff at the top, this is just a hat box with one hat in um, and some hats and these can definitely be condensed and give me a bit more space. I'm hoping that I might be able to fit um, handbags on two of these shelves and then my shoes are going to go either in the bottom of here. Anyway, so this is the current situation. I've got, I've done this section. I've now got 
um, this section to go. My scarves are here, which actually I had to clear out of these last year, so um, maybe there's a couple that will go, but most of them are kind of in there for the long haul, my favourites, and some of them are like sentimental, I don't wear them but they're sentimental, um, and then shirts and um, skirts and trousers that need like hanging up at the end are there, some random stuff in the bottom that I'm going to get rid of, and then this is the area that needs the most <laughs> overhaul because I have so many dresses, um, this is my dress section, and then also in here, this is just, this is not, this is not good in here, this is belts, random pair of slippers, some hats, I mean this could definitely be more organised. Um, so I'm going to go through these, pick out some of the pieces that I won't be wearing anymore. I'll show you what it'll look after, although I'm not going to actually get to the finished shebang today, but what I'm going to do is almost do a haul video, but like a reverse haul, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to be selling on my Depop. Um, and then I'm going to put the stuff live, hopefully to coincide when this video goes up. Um, I might stagger them because I know in the past when I've done Depop, everything has sold out it, it, almost immediately. All the good stuff goes almost immediately, which is really frustrating for you guys, especially if I put the items up before the video, because a lot of you aren't necessarily on Depop a lot or don't have like not notifications turned on, on Depop. So by the time you see this video and know that there's stuff going on, it's all gone. So I'm going to try and stagger it so that you guys can kind of get stuff if you want it and it's not just gone because I know that's annoying I hate that when that happens and something's going on online for me I'm like damn it I missed out um so yeah let's do this So the situation in here is currently a big mess, but the situation in the wardrobe is looking good. This looks super drastic, but bear in mind there was, like, this wasn't nearly, nearly full before. Um, so what I've done is moved, cleared out a lot of dresses that I don't wear anymore and moved my shirts in with my dresses. This is really cramped right now, but there's also a section of dresses, probably like from here to here, which is like strictly summer, which I might actually move into the spare room um, during winter so I have a bit more space but as you can see there's a lot of storage space under here as well um, this I'm still yet to tackle but I've got a lot more space in here and what I really didn't think about before was the fact that there are um, hanging hooks on um, this rail which actually when you're hanging clothes is not very useful but to store handbags it might actually be quite good and I can hang them up like where I can see them um, so my idea here is to have handbags hanging ones here and then get some of those like drop down shelves to put handbags in and then at the bottom have boxes because I've got a few really nice handbags that um, I want to keep their boxes um, and then in here I think I'm going to do shoes so what I'm going to do is hopefully shift everything up one and probably put hoodies and like workout gear that I don't wear as much at the top because I don't need to reach for it which is basically like this it's half of this row and half of this row, but I basically just need to rejig or move those up. This box, I think, can go and the hats will just go somewhere else that's easy to store because then they don't actually take a lot of space up once that big box is gone. And then I'm going to have two rows of shoes and then probably have like trainers and um, just shoes that I can like chuck in a drawer in there and then nicer shoes on these two shelves. And then I think it'll be pretty much mission accomplished. So this is the pile for Depop. It's embarrassingly large. There's a couple of things in there that I'm going to give to my sister and actually this scarf is not supposed to be in there. I just put that on the floor halfway through. That's supposed to go back in. It's like my favourite scarf ever. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to get photographing for Depop. It's going to be a big job and I'll show you some of the stuff that I'm going to be selling. Okay, so once again I'm sitting on the floor just to show you quickly um, some of the stuff that's going up on Depop. There's a lot. It's going to be hard work and I'm Mike's literally walking up the stairs now. Can you help me Take some photos for Depop in a minute. I'll consider it. <laughs> yes. Go for a shower first. It's a big job. You might need a shower after, to be fair. Um, yeah, Mike doesn't know what he's letting himself into. So, <laughs> so one of the, I'm just going to show you, I think it's a selection of like maybe six, maybe eight things. Um, there is a lot more than this going up. So, these are some of my favourite things. I'm sad to say goodbye to, but I don't wear them and I want them to go to a home where people will love them. So the first thing is this needle and thread 
pinafore dress. Um, I got this a few years ago, I think maybe two and a half years ago. Um, and I wore it in New York for Fashion Week. I absolutely adore it, super cute. I actually have a shirt that goes really nicely underneath it from Needle and Thread as well, which I'm keeping because I wear that a lot. But it basically looks super cute. You can put a little white shirt underneath it and it's really pretty and has the most beautiful embellishment. Um, most things as well are either a UK 10 or a small. Um, some of the stuff I'm getting rid of is a little bit older. Um, so it'll be like a small 10, whereas now I'm, after having River, I'm more on the end of like a bigger 10. Um, but I've pretty much always been like a small or a size 10, so everything will be that size, pretty much. The next thing is an All Saints dress, which I bought last year, I believe, and I just never wear it. There's something about this dress, I think it's slightly too short for me. I just, I always put it on, I pick it out, I really love the print, I really love the style, but I just never end up wearing it. It's got these bat wing sleeves, um, elasticated waistband, basically has never really been worn. I probably worn it once. Um, so yeah, that is going. And then another thing, this one's actually really old. I think this must be seven or eight years old. Um, and it's from DVF. It's one of her classic wrap dresses, but it's in the most beautiful chiffon material. And it's got this gorgeous stripe pattern and it's got navy and cream yellow and cream and then black and cream stripes it's difficult to kind of show you guys what this is like you know you know like my classic wrap dress like my favorite cut it's like that it does have a little bit of damage on it it's at, it's like got this tiny pull where the um i don't know if you guys will be able to see where the wrap kind of comes around but that would be a really easy fix literally like a few stitches um, again, it is a size 2, so 10, and I wore this for my cousin's wedding. I've worn this quite a lot, actually, but I just, I haven't worn it probably in five years. So I was like, it's time for that to find a new home because I don't wear it. Now, this one I'm really, really sad to say goodbye to, and I'm saying goodbye to it because I personally think I won't ever wear it again. I've worn it twice, and I love it. It's Zimmerman. Um, but I just think, for me, it's very like slim fit tight it's very short and I don't think I wouldn't have felt comfortable wearing it in the last two years anyway so I don't think I probably will again but how stunning is this so it's black it's got that really low cut with the gold details and it's got the gold details on the side some of you guys might remember this um from my Instagram it pains me to say goodbye to this but like I said I haven't worn it in over two years and I don't know if I'll ever really get back to a place where I'm confident enough with my body to wear this again. But if you are like confident enough to wear something like this that is quite short, quite tight, quite revealing, but really beautiful, um, there is that. That's a size one as well, so it's like an eight, 10. Another thing that I haven't worn in ages, but is super beautiful, this um, self-portrait peplum sequined top. I wore this on the red carpet for the Olivier Awards. I've worn it a few times since then as well with a really lovely um, black Karen Millen pencil skirt. And I think it's cool, but I haven't worn it again since then in a long time. So it's going to a new home, but it's super beautiful and super sparkly. Um, then I have these trousers, which I've actually, again, I've only ever worn these once. I wore them in New York for fashion week. And I feel like I've had them for three years and I've only worn them once they probably could do with a better home. Um, so these are Topshop, they are UK 12, so they'll come up quite small. Occasionally I have things in a 12 and usually with brands like Topshop, it's so that they are a little bit um, less high-waisted or longer. Although I don't know why with these, actually no, I do know why with these, because I really, really wanted them. So they're a petite, so a petite 12. I really wanted them and they didn't have them in my size, so I ended up finding the petite 12, which is kind of fits like a 10-ish. Um, so. Yeah, a little bit bigger than, than some of the others, but these are cream and black striped culottes. They're actually gorgeous. It's kind of making me think maybe I shouldn't put these up. Mm, I don't know, I might try them on again. Um, and then I have uh, an Eero super lightweight bomber jacket with lace details on the front. The reason why this is going, along with a few other kind of bomber, this is very, it's more like a shirt in materials. It's very lightweight, but it's like a jacket in design for you guys. There we go, it's got these lace panels on the front. Really beautiful. The reason why this is going is 
bomber shapes just don't suit me at all and I, I never end up wearing them. There's a few other bomber jacket styles going up as well. So if you like bombers, <laughs> there you go. Another one is this um, navy suede top shop mini skirt. This is so gorgeous. I've only worn this once. The reason with this being navy, I just find navy such a hard colour to wear. I don't think it particularly suits me. And I just find it difficult because I own and wear so much black and I find it hard to cross navy and black over. I know some people do it and it looks amazing, but I feel like if you have the right style for this, it would look awesome. Um, so that's going along with um, this cashmere jumper, which I only bought last year. And it's going because I've worn it once. I just feel like this colour is not right for me. Um, I, I wanted to love it because it reminded me of the Burberry scarves. It's so cute. It's J Crew, 100% cashmere, size medium, but is small. Like it's, it's not, it's made to be like a fitted jumper. And so, yeah, um, I would say it's more like a size small and it is super cute. But on me, even holding it up, like I don't know why I bought this. I bought it because I thought it was cute, but obviously it's not my colour. Um, so that's going because I basically never wear it because I feel like it completely washes me out every time I try it on And then last but not least is a stunning dress from Marge that I have never worn and I've had this for I think about four years um, And I've never worn it every time I try it on again just something about it. It's quite short. Sure I just don't end up wearing it um, and it is this gorgeous polka dot like white with black polka dots, it's fitted around the waist, it's got an elasticated section at the back, it's got this really dainty kind of string piece that holds the um, shoulders together and holds the straps on and then it's got a really full swishy skirt, it's gorgeous, why have I never worn this? Because I shouldn't have bought it in the first place and it doesn't, it's just not for my figure personally. Um, it is a size 2, so size 10 um, and that is going up as well. So if you want to see what else is going up, let me tell you, there is a lot. There is so much stuff. Um, seriously, Mike doesn't know what he's laying himself in for. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you hadn't maybe thought about shopping secondhand before, I hope it has kind of inspired you to do so. Um, and go and check out my Depop, and I'll see you soon. Bye.